Hi, this is Tidhar. Today I'm going to explain you about util file oracle package. The util underscore file oracle package is a built-in package available in oracle and it is used to read or write operating system text files. You can read the contents present in the table and write it into the text file that is operating system operating system specific text file or you can read the contents present in the operating system specific text file and write it into the database in either way you can do it basically it is used to do file operation operating system specific file operation it is used to read and write operating system specific text files so for any file operation you have to do it in oracle first of all you have to open the file if you want to do any kind of file, file operation then you have to do the you have to open the file using the fopen function the fopen function is util underscore file dot fopen and within parenthesis first the location where the file resides if it is a windows file then you can say c colon slash temp or c colon slash anything or d drive here in this in, a, in my case i stored it as my location is c colon slash temp i am using the location as c colon slash temp even you can use linux uh, operating system also if you are using linux operating system then you can specify the path or the location as slash temp slash temp or slash opt slash home anything so the location should be the operating system specific location and the file name what is the file name you have to create you are going to create the name of the file and it's it is in varchar2 and the open mode what is the mode you are going to operate with the file you have to you are going to read the file or you are going to write the file or you are going to append the file so in which mode you are going to operate so if you are going to use read mode then r you have to write it as r the mode will be r if you are going to write into this operating system specific text file then you have to put write w if you are going to append the file then you have to specify a a means append r means read w means write and a means append these are the modes available in the f open still there are some modes available if you want to write it in bytes format you can specify it as r b w b and a b that we will discuss it later first you understand about the read mode write mode and the append mode and this is all about the f open function so if you want to do any file operation if you want to read the contents present in the text file then you have to use f open if you want to write some contents from the table into the text file then also you have to use this f open so you have to open the file and the the file f open function consists of three parameters there are three parameters in f, f open function first one is the location where it store where it resides and the name of the file and the mode in which you are going to operate and the return type is util underscore file dot file type so this statement is will be assigned to a file handler and that file handler is of data type util file and file dot file type so repeating again util file dot f open the statement will be assigned to a file handler and that file handler is of the data type util file dot file type and what are the how will how will you write into the file using the put line procedure you will be writing some contents into the text file so the put line procedure these three statements are basically used for writing any contents into the text file if you want to write some contents into the op, uh, os specific text file then you can use put line or put or put f only the syntax almost same not almost everything remains same the syntax is same but the function it does slightly differs what put line procedure does the syntax is util underscore file dot put line and within parenthesis there are two parameters one is the file handler what is the file handler this one is a file handler that is the file opened 
using this syntax a dot util file dot f open that is assigned to the file handler and that file handler is called in put line function util file dot put line of the file handler the first parameter is file handler and the second parameter is a buffer variable so the variable in which some values are stored and that value will be written into the file and that value will be written into the os file so example util file dot put line of the file handler comma some buffer variable buffer variable it may be var cat too and this variable will be having some value that value will be written into the file handler what is the file handle file handler is a file mentioned here and put to procedure put procedure it also this uh, having the same syntax util file dot put there are two parameters one is a file handler comma the buffer variable where the values are stored and that value will be written into the os file and what is the main difference in put procedure it will not append an empty line at the end of the empty line whereas in put line at the end of the statement one empty line new line will be added at the end of the at the end of the variable one new line will be added in put line like in dbms underscore output dot put line if you are printing a statement one new line will be appended at the end so that another another statement another print statement will be come will comes in the new line same like that whereas in put procedure it will not append any new line it will not append any operating system specific line terminator in the in other way you can say that operating system specific line terminator be terminator because in windows it is slash n whereas in some other os it may be it's it, it will differ so util file dot put procedure it has two parameters one is a file handler and the another one is a buffer variable and this buffer variable value will be written into the file handler and it will not append any empty line it will not append any empty line in util file dot put procedure whereas in putf procedure in putf procedure the syntax is same util file dot putf of the file handler the first parameter is a file handler and the second file parameter is the second parameter is the same buffer variable whereas in the buffer variable you can have the percentage yes the format specifiers you can have the format specifiers what are the format specific specifiers available here the percentage yes this it will it will represent the string variables value and the slash n slash n means the new line new line will be added if you mentioned anywhere if you mentioned the slash n that slash n will be replaced by a new line so put f means printing with the formatting the put procedure with the formatting f denotes the formatting the next one is f close f close means you can close the file simply passing the file handler util file dot f close of the file handler it will close the file normally if you open the file definitely you have to close the file otherwise you cannot delete the, that file if you want to delete that file you can't do it from the operating system see here if you want to delete the file you can't delete it if you didn't close the file and if close all if you open multiple files then if you want to close all the file but you don't want to mention each and every file handler then in that case you can use util file dot f close all util file dot f close all with no parameters means it's closing all the opened files so these are the main procedures used for writing some contents into the os file let me execute one program before executing one program um, there are some initial privileges or settings to be done i already said that uh, privileges just uh, for information just note it down first we have to connect uh, slash as sysdba and then you have to give the grant permission grant execute on the util file normally normal users won't be having permission or privileges on this util file package so you have to grant the permission grant execute on you are giving the execute permission on this util file package to the user and also you have to create a directory 
as I mentioned here here the location location means the directory in which directory the file will be saved so here you are mentioning the location so for this location to be created you have to give the you have to create the directory in Oracle also so for creating the directory you must have some create permission so for that you have to grant create any directory to the user and after creating after give, getting all the permission login as the user and first create the directory I already created this directory c colon slash temp so all my files will be stored here and I can also read those files from this place only so I'm create or I'm, I already created the directory using this command create or replace directory the directory name as the location so in this location I am going to store all the flat files user dir is a directory name or the location let me execute one sample program this program is for writing a small content writing hello world to the windows file let me explain one by one first time create opening I'm doing the file operation so first of all I have to open the file so if the file is new there are no files then let me delete this one also see here I could not delete this file so in this case I have to use F close all command anyhow I'm using hello.txt this hello.txt is not here so if it is not here even if the file is not here it will be created if you give write mode or append mode it will be created so since I am doing the file operation the first statement should be the file opening so util file dot f open I am opening the file the three parameters are first one is the location in which location the location is which I already created user dir already created here already created using the create or replace directory directory name as c colon slash temp instead of mentioning c colon slash temp here I am mentioning it as user underscore dir this is the directory which I have created and all my files will be stored in this location so this is the location the second parameter is the file name what is the file name hello.txt is a file name and which mode you are going to use I am using the write mode I am going to write some contents into this hello.txt file and this stored in the user der location so util file dot put line put line means you are going to write some contents into the file the put line will be having two parameters first one is a file handler so f1 is a file handler f1 comma some string the string is enclosed within single quotes and this statement util file dot f open is assigned to the variable f1 and this f1 is of the return type util file dot file type which we discussed in the, while in the declaration part itself the return type of this statement is util file dot file type so we are assigning this statement f open statement to the variable f1 and this variable is of the data type util file dot file type because the return type is file type and coming back to this statement util file dot put line I am writing one line into the file handler f1 and this f1 is pointing to the hello.txt file which is present in user der again I am using putf putf means format putting the line using by formatting so here I can mention slash n or slash s anything I can give it here so there are two parameters to be passed we can pass it through the to the putf putf procedure the two the two parameters in the putf procedure is one is a file handler and another one is a string do you want to, string you want to write into the file 
what is the string I want to write into this file which I given here and I enclosed it within single quotes and here I am mentioning slash n also slash n means a new line I am giving slash n here and here since I, have, I am giving this kind of format specifier I am using put f procedure and the next one is a put procedure in the put procedure also the same parameters first one is a file handler and the second one is a string you want to write into the file here also I mentioned slash n which is a format specifier but the put statement will not allow format specifier the put statement it will not allow any format specifier and it will not append any operating system specific line terminator also so it will not append any new line while printing so even if you give any format specifier it will not use use it and after writing all the contents into the file handler i am closing the file using f close that's all i am printing the statement and exception just for purpose i given it here but uh, remember do not use always use when others you have to use the sp specific exception handler you have to catch the exception handler i will discuss more about that in the upcoming session let me execute clear it yes completed check the file name is hello.txt this file is created see if you see the first statement hello.world using put line yes printed and the next one using putf using putf also I am printing hello world slash n yes hello world slash n using putf also and the next one slash n means new line after the new line I am giving welcome to util section of PLSQL programming using putf slash n using putf and slash n means the next line created a new line and the put function it will not support the any format specifier so whatever mentioned here that will be printed even the slash n also printed because it will not support any, any kind of format specifier so everything is printed and after printing I am closing the file so in this way you can write the contents contents into the OS file even you can write the contents present in the table from the table you can write the contents into the flat file also which we will discuss in the next session thanks for watching